Hey everybody, it is Napalm Dawn back here on G4G for a little bit of an announcement. Unlike the last announcement video that I did, which I kind of held things very close to the chest, and it was a bit of a surprise as to what I would be doing, and that was streaming on Twitch for September 30th, which was the death anniversary day for Marvel Avengers Alliance, and also it was going to be the day that the Avengers Square Enix Crystal Dynamics game was going to die. This one, um, I'm not going to hold it to the chest. This one is not about suspense and surprise. I'm just going to let you guys know that on Tuesday of next week, which is going to be 17th of October, I'm going to bring back the Marvel Hour on Twitch on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. EST. So for at least the near future, I'm going to stream on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. because That is a day that I will have the house to myself as my uh, girlfriend that you know is Ori Kalkin, who does the intro video to the videos that I do here on YouTube. Uh, she goes into the office those days. So I'm going to overlay some streaming capabilities on the days that I have the place to myself. So as not to bother her on her work from home days. Uh, I may add other days of the week. We'll have to see what's going on. The stream that I did on September 30th seemed to be a little laggy for some people. Other people said it was fine. So I want to get that issue sorted out. And provided that goes well, maybe I'll add another few days of the week. Weekend streaming is something that I don't like to do. That's when my girlfriend and I like to go out and do our errands and get some food out and lunches and coffee and tackle stuff for our fur babies and everything. I hate having a schedule on the weekends and I don't want to cut it. I don't want to have it cutting into the me and her time. So it'll be at least contained Monday to Friday, but right now I'm going to bring it back on Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll see what happens. I always call, call it the Marvel Hour, even though it winds up being two hours. And that's because the original intent way back when was about an hour. So on those days that I stream, we'll be covering Redux. And of course, you guys will have breaking access to any news that goes on with Redux, whether a new character gets mentioned for six or we are seeing some possible nebulous dates as to when beta 6 might be out. As of now, there is no news on any of that. Don't ask me about it. I don't have any insider information, like I've said, on beta 6. But a member of our Discord, um, Daki Chili, Daki Chili YouTube over here on Discord, he has been making a bunch of small unofficial patches that work for fixing counters and follow-ups both for characters and gear and all you basically do is you just back up the existing files you download his small fixed files and then you relaunch the game and certain characters like Luke Cage and certain weapons are working better We'll go ahead and talk about those on the stream. Maybe Daki can come over to Twitch chat and talk about these patches that he's done. So really looking forward to bringing the Marvel Hour back, at least for a couple days of the week. The reason things are lining up cosmically again to stream is that at my current job, we're going through a merger. We got bought out by a larger company. My company has historically bought out other ones. This time the reverse is happening where we're getting bought out and unfortunately, I got hit today with something called a riff. If you don't know what a riff is, it's a reduction in force. It often happens when businesses go through changes. And my job wrapped up today. So I'm going to have some free time on my hands again. The previous streaming that I had been doing always lined up with things like that with my job. Uh, in 2015 and 16, when I was actually streaming the live game, and that was the first era of me doing streaming where I streamed right up until when the game died, 
that I was not working at that particular point in time due again to a company merger and a reduction in force. In 2020, when I was streaming Beta 2 and Beta 3 at the time, uh, 2020, 21, that was because, you know, essentially COVID had shut down the planet. And in May of 2020, there was a reworking of the business there due to COVID. They were outsourcing my division, so I had free time on my hands there. And in the early winter of 23, my job that I had at the time, they had lost their funding from their major partner. So the whole entire business was shutting down. I made some veiled implications that I might start the streaming again. But I kind of looked out over the landscape of my days and it was a little inconsistent at that time. I was still working, but I was generally home because there wasn't that much of a need for me to be on site. But then we had days and weeks where I needed to be on site. I was like, yeah, it's probably a little too chaotic to say, hey, everybody, I'm streaming again. And then be like, well, but not this week. Well, but not that day. Well, hold on. I have a meeting that I need to attend to. So this particular time, it's it's definite. I'm going to be sitting on a nice package for a little while. Um, so at least for some time, I'm going to bring back the streaming. We may have some front row seats to how Redux is progressing. Um, maybe we'll have small things to try insider things like small patches from the official team that we can try on stream and everything like that. But we'll be covering Redux, obviously. We may even dip back into Beta 2 to have theme days like Guardians, As Guardians, Ladies Night Out, Spider-Verse characters, Movie Avengers. Um, because in Beta 2, I can use special codes to put weapons into the game that are not available in Redux. I'm not always going to perform that well, and it's very easy to crash a game in Redux and or Redux 2 and uh, blow up the saves. But they're good when we want to do theme things like bleeders, and I can like code in the Devourer and other stuff like that. Um, a little bit Marvel Future Fight, unlike the 2020, 21 era when I was streaming. I don't play Future Fight daily anymore. I'm not really active in it. I just log in, get some rewards, send stuff out to friends, collect my inbox, and I dip out. But we may go in there to like look at uniforms, like there's some Midnight Suns uniforms in there now. Uh, discuss new characters. Marvel Strike Force we'll probably get into a little bit. Uh, Marvel Duel, not as much. That was there in 20 and 21. And friend of the channel, Darth, was playing it at that time. We'd often discuss some strategy and everything. Uh, definitely not into Duel that much anymore. Marvel Snap, you'll definitely see on stream. Probably play a couple matches of Snap. Maybe we would even dip into some Midnight Suns or the console... Marvel Avengers from Square and Crystal Dynamics, it's dead, but the servers, I think, are still up, so it may actually be possible to still play some missions. I haven't really tried yet. But, you know, the Marvel theming and branding of the couple hours of streaming will definitely be there. Maybe some cats will make appearances on the streams and everything, but that is the announcement that I've got for you guys. So starting next Tuesday, next Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, uh, five hours ahead of, of 3 p.m. Uh, England time. So I guess like 8 o'clock at night um, England time. And that's really the only time that I know based off of EST right there. But yeah, we're going to bring back the stream. It's at least going to have several weeks of, of running and everything like that. So link to the Twitch channel will be down below. And I hope to see you guys again starting next Tuesday with the Marvel Hour over on Twitch. And hopefully some of the, the choppiness that was happening with that broadcast will be gone. And hey, I'll be able to bring back. It's October. I'll be able to bring back the 
spooky stream is about ready to start intro that I had back in 2020 and 21. So I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.